What's going on guys? It's your boy Hero and today we're going to be talking about a new mini series that I'm going to be starting. It's going to be called Black Desert Misconceptions. In this series we're going to go through a whole bunch of different misconceptions that are going around in Black Desert Online that a lot of people, newer players or basically inexperienced players may think to be true because it's what they hear from other players who may be spreading their misinformation. In this series, I hope to dispel a lot of the rumors about the game for the people that are trying to learn more about it, whether you be new or already a current player, and uh, hopefully you guys get a new perspective on some of these issues. So in this video, for the first one, we're going to be focusing on skill versus gear. The misconception is that gear is completely what makes you win a 1v1 against another opponent and skill does not matter at all. And I'm here to completely dispel this theory or this speculation. This theory does bring to be a lot more true in group fights because things are a lot more chaotic the more the groups get and the bigger they get. But at the end of the day, skill does have a place in Black Desert Online, especially in smaller scale fights, especially in 1v1s. It's not just gear. And I'll explain to you why. Okay, so here's a perfect example. If I'm fighting a player who cannot grab me, they cannot CC me, they cannot get me on the ground, that means that even if they had gear, they couldn't kill me. They would not be able to kill me because they cannot CC me. Now, I am able to grab this person. I am able to knock them on the ground with ease. I'm able to stun them and CC them. This is because I am playing better than him. This is not a gear issue anymore. This is a gameplay issue. Now, on the other hand, this person here who's grabbing me constantly and CCing me when I, when I shouldn't be allowing him to and is pretty much outplaying me, he's doing not enough damage to finish me off so I'm able to get up and just walk away. See, those are two very distinctive and very different things. In example one, it was completely skill that allowed me to destroy this person However, in example two, it was gear that kept me alive and thus made me have a much better chance at beating this person. So, yes, gear does definitely play a role in this game. And I'm not trying to say that it doesn't, but it doesn't play as much of a role as skill. And the amount of gear playing a role starts to fade very quickly once you get closer and closer to 500 gear score, which would be closer to the soft cap when you're around 450 gear score 460 gear score gear score doesn't really matter as much anymore skill starts to matter more and more and more and maybe even what class you're fighting uh, if your class is not so good against another class that might also be a thing but gear is becoming less and less of an issue and it will continue to do so so long as the game continues to grow as it is much harder to get past the soft cap than it is to reach the soft cap so the misconception being that gear is the only thing that matters in a 1v1 or in small scale PvP is absolutely ridiculous. Now, on the other side, because of the way large scale PvP is right now with protected area and all things like that, I would have to kind of agree that gear is a lot more important in a large scale battle. While there is some strategy involved, it's definitely not as much as small scale and 1v1 uh, scenarios. So in that situation, an argument that gear is more viable and valuable than skill is a lot more reasonable and a lot more easy to understand. But that doesn't mean that is completely accurate skill does still matter in large scale pvp just not as much as it would in small scale pvp now i'm not saying any of this to down you i'm not saying any of this to say you're a shitter you're trash kid get good get better at the game you suck reroll uh get better get good you're bad and i'm not i'm not trying to say any of that i'm not here to put anyone down i'm here to tell people to stop making excuses because that's all i hear in black desert recently is excuses 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 about are the rng system excuses about why they can't beat another person excuses about why they're not level 61 excuses about everything and at the end of the day this game is not a game that matter where excuses matter it really isn't the, this is a game where 
what you put in is what you get out. And yeah, you can throw in that you don't spend money on pets and you don't spend money on weight limit. That's at least valid. But when you're bringing up stuff, when it comes to skill and you're not even able to CC your opponent, it's not the game. It's not the gear. It's you. And you need to go to the battle arena. You need to practice. You need to learn more about your class, learn more about other classes, learn how to counter them, learn what they're doing and when they're, they have openings to strike. Because no matter how strong a class is, every class has an opening every class has a weakness except for mystic mystic is fucking stupid fucking broken piece of shit they need to take it out of the game they need to take mystic out of the game now but yeah guys other than that i just want to make this quick video to let you guys know about this kind of stuff please guys in 2018 let's stop making less excuses let's make less excuses about bdo and start putting the mirror on ourselves and learning more about our own classes and making less mistakes ourselves so that we can all become better players also want you guys to make sure you check out my twitch hello hero twitch i'll leave a link in the description you guys go follow me on there that's where i'm going to be streaming at from now on if you guys want some tips and um yeah uh the next misconception we're going to be talking about is going to be the rng system and we're going to also talk about the marketplace system and we're also going to talk about karma bombing so please look forward to those if you guys have any suggestions on what kind of misconceptions you want to know about post them in the comments below and uh, let me know what you guys think it's your boy here i'll see you guys next time peace